These are the 10 best songs SB19 has ever made and or covered. We're going to dive into that right now. What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from anywhere in the entire world. I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another local band, Smoke Out. I'm your host, is higher than most, BG. And I know we've been waiting on this SB19 top 10 list, and I have it ready. I think I got it ready. It was extremely difficult to come up with. Uh, I constantly was changing what goes in this place, what goes here, what goes there. In fact, coming up with only 10 was nearly impossible. So technically, this is a top 13 list. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but we're actually going to do 13 songs. I just couldn't fit 10 in there. I'm sorry. So this, the way this works is uh, it's completely just my opinion. I doubt anyone will agree exactly with this list, but we're going to go 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way down until we get to number one. And I'm sure it's going to be very debatable. But uh, number 13 is uh, a song called Go Up. And Go Up is it's interesting. It's like a very dancey song. Uh, it, it has a little bit of like an EDM feel to me in certain spots, but a really, really cool jam uh, in general. And I just thought that th this would be a cool one to put on the list somewhere. So uh, number 13 for me is a song called Go Up. And a lot of these songs I had never, uh, I'd never even discovered or heard before. They're just songs that I found uh, while doing research for this. And then I thought to myself, how do I squeeze this one? And this is why we did 13. And number 12 is one of the first songs, not the first songs of one of the first songs I ever heard from them, but probably like the third song I ever heard from this band, because <clears throat> I think I heard Gento first, <clears throat> and then something else, and then I went back and was like, well, let me just discover some of their old, old, old stuff. And that led me to Alab Burning, which I don't even know if they still play this song live, but uh, if, according to what I found, it's the first song off their debut album. And it's a pretty good first song. I just don't know if they jam this one anymore because of all the content that they have now that they've released. But a uh, pretty cool song. It's just, it's just they have so much good stuff now that I don't even know if they play that one anymore. Uh, which is gonna lead me to number eleven, and this is where this is where the debatableness is gonna happen. Uh, my number eleven for SB19 is a song called Freedom. Freedom, which is uh, off of Pag the, the Pag the Tag EP, and uh, it's just a positive, feel-good song, um, and it kind of takes you somewhere, somewhere deep, but in a positive world. It's 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 not a love song. It's not an R and B song. It's not a dancey song. It's just it's just a cool, um, just a cool, positive, uplifting record, and and I've always appreciated that song, and it, it's I don't know. It's it's one that I wanted to get on this list. So with that being said, these are actually the real top 10 <laughs> top ten songs what? right here. And number 10 is a song called What? And uh, I love the, um, the, the video for this one where it's got like a little bit of like a desert feel. There's some DJ scratching and like marching drums in the song. But uh, when I was going back and, and making this list, I, I listened to a lot of their music over again. And what? I was like, man, I forgot how good this one was. So what comes in at number 10? There's a car alarm going off uh, in, the, in the front yard somewhere, the neighbor. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But what is number 10? Number 9 is going to be Where You At, also uh, known as W-Y-A-T. And uh, the hook on this one is just so funky, fresh, disco disco dancey i don't know and I, I love like old school sounds and i love how they kind of incorporated that in this particular song so i have number nine as where you at and i believe the first time i heard where you at was on the wish 107.5 bus saw them perform that and i thought they did fantastic and it was just another one of those songs that kind of like got me hooked in general to uh to sb19 number eight Number eight. See, I got to go like way down here on the list because I rearranged the order. Number eight is going to be I Want You, which is a really cool, fun, sexy R&B song. Uh, and it just, 
it just is another example of how broad the the fellas can get with their sound like they want to go this route and make a dancey song they want to do an r&b song they want to do this they want to do that and they just went crazy crazy classic r&b on this one and um, I've seen a couple live videos of it. And when they when they perform it, the ladies in the audience just go crazy, just screaming, hooting and hollering. And I, I'm sure it makes for a really cool, fun performance. Uh, so number seven, number seven is uh, is Laheim. Laheim is number seven for me. Uh, they just absolutely pour their hearts out on this song. It's a very very serious one, and uh, it's the emotional track. Just another really cool one off of the Pag to Tag EP. And um, I, I always appreciated this one. I think I've only seen the, I've, this may be incorrect, but I believe I've only seen the lyric video for it. But uh, it's, it's just a fantastic song. Please, please check it out if you're not familiar with that one. And it gets, man, this gets so tough. It gets so tough doing this. So off of Pag Sipol, Pag Sipol, the the EP, I next went with, Mappa. Mappa is another really emotional song, um, but everyone kind of gets a chance to shine on it uh, as far as like vocally, and they, and they do on other songs too. But in this song in particular, it has like a really cool moment where each member gets a minute or so, and I mean, less than a minute, but they get a moment to just really vocally just give it all they've got. Um, so that's why I put Mappa on there. And uh, again, it's off the fantastic album called Pag Pagsipol. And uh, yeah, this leads us to our top five. And number five is going to be Bazinga. The Bazinga beat is just bonkers. I love the beat in this song. It's very, very hip hop uh, influenced. The song is really, really catchy. And uh, I just, I feel like when you watch them perform this song too, especially Pablo, like, Bazinga! Like, he, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but he just has such a cool, infectious energy on on this one that uh, that carries over to the rest of the band, and, and their performance is always fantastic on this one. So that's why I put Bazinga at number four. And I'm telling you, these last, these last four songs were, impo like, almost impossible to figure out how to how to do an order for these four. And again, I, there's gonna be some drama, there's gonna be some debating, but number four is Gento. I know, how did it only get to four? I'm sorry, number four is Gento. It's arguably the most popular song they had. I believe it's the first song I ever heard from them. It's one of those songs where as soon as it as soon as it starts, you just want to wake up and and bake that potato. You know what I mean? You just you just got to immediately start dancing and grooving and shaking and uh, the video is insane. Uh I want to say Pablo's brother I think made the beat for this one. That might not be correct, but I'm pretty sure he did make the beat for it. Um and the video is fantastic and it's so catchy and uh I, I don't know. I had to put that one at number four because the three above that, in my opinion, are are just a hair, just a hair better. And uh, number three is Mana, Mana. Also, some people say Mana, but I think it's Mana. But that might not be correct. I don't know. There's a Spanish group called Mana, so sometimes I confuse it. But Mana might be my favorite beat that they've ever done, with the exception of what I have at number one. But uh, it's it's another one of those just cool, dancey, fun records. I believe also off of the Pagsipol EP, and uh, yeah, it's just such a cool, fun track. Uh, I I don't know what else I could say about it, but that I haven't kind of mentioned regarding how I feel about the other songs. But it just has such a cool beat, and I think it's my second favorite beat that they've ever they've ever done something to. And um, I actually showed my kids that song the other day. Because they came in when I was kind of working on this list, and they just started dancing in the studio. And I was like, oh, sh**. <laughs> it was fun. Um, and then we we make it to the top two. The top two, which is so hard. All right. Number two is Isla. Isla. I can't even listen to Isla. I, I, and that's a good thing. But Isla is, is the song where... The first time I heard Isla, I was everyone every now and then people have like these these mental days where they struggle and you know things go wrong in your personal life. And that I dropped my pen. 
that particular day, uh, I was just having a really bad day. And I stumbled on Isla and I ended up shooting a reaction video for it, not having heard or seen anything. You can find this on YouTube. And I swear, I think it's the most I've ever cried in in a, a reaction video ever. And it's only like four or five times I've ever done that out of like over 6,000 something reactions. But I just started crying my eyes out to Isla. And it's, it's just one of those songs where the lyrics personally hit me hard um, when I was watching the lyric video for it. And it just, I was, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just, they were just running. And I, I almost turned off the, the camera that day. I remember just because I was a little bit embarrassed of how, how much uh, the song was making me emotional. But uh, so I Law to me is the second best song that they've ever written. And uh, I, I have not, I don't think, listened to it since, which is, it's unfortunate, but it just brings me back to like a, a personal state and when I don't really enjoy. But at the same time, I, I'm thoroughly blessed for, for how cool that song is because sometimes you need to be able to express to other people that you're in pain. And that particular day I was, and I'm doing a lot better now, don't worry. But um, it leads us to number one, the number one song. And if you've ever seen any reaction video I've ever done, I constantly mention this one particular song. And I always say, well, where's the music video for this one? This is my favorite song that they have. Why isn't there a music video for it? And I still have my fingers crossed that somehow we'll get it. But how have I not mentioned Crimson? Of course. Of course, Crimson is my absolute favorite. Uh, just uh, let Crimson drip and then when all that happens right there, it just instantly sets me into the dance. And I love when we watched um, the AAA performance and they had the background graphic going on and you could see it like the little blood dripping into the water before they went into that segment. I thought that was so cool, man. But I, that is my favorite song they've ever done just because the you play that song for somebody that doesn't know SB19 and the 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 run now we run dun, 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 dun. all that just starts and the, the, the person that you're playing it for that's never heard them just instantly is like okay okay you know it's a good it's a good show them this first to get them hooked to SB19 I think is how I'm going to say it right there um but yeah Crimson is my number 1 I know that you guys were probably not agree with most of this list and uh, there was a couple of songs that obviously 13 12 11 that uh didn't make the top 10 but i just had to kind of squeeze them in somehow because they were very worthy of being considered so uh yeah that's my that's my list if you guys enjoyed this please uh consider clicking the subscribe button for me i'd very much appreciate it please comment below and let me know what what did you have on your top 10 list it's very hard to do but if you can try and go 10 through 1 in the comment section and let me see what you would have ranked um your 10 songs it, it could be any any songs from sb19 in, in general and the cool thing about doing this is there's a lot of stuff i've never heard before um that i that i was able to shoot a couple reaction videos for just just some new stuff from them that you know i was unaware even existed um because of your guys' comments i found out there's like five or six more songs i've not heard apparently there's like two or three more acer computer songs that they have there's a dunkin donut song I've not heard any of those, so hopefully in the near future I'll be able to shoot something for them regarding that. But until then, at SB19Official on Facebook, please go there, hit the like button, the follow button. Um, again, if there's something you guys ever need me to shoot for you, localbandsmokeout.com is the place to go. Any genre is accepted. Put your music into space, literally into the atmosphere. Banruption.com is 100% free to sign up for. And... Um, uh, you can find a link for that in the description of this reaction video, as well as a link to our Patreon. If you'd like me to be able to shoot more content on a regular basis, help grow the show and expand, please consider checking that out. Uh, or you can go to patreon.com slash local band BG. And, uh, finally, if you're playing shows, especially here in the States, you got to have merch. It's very important. And I highly recommend mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420 for an excellent discount. In fact, that discount could save you hundreds of dollars. Other than that, though, guys, I am your host who's having the most BG saying cheers, keep blazing, and peace. I'll see you next time.